Ja siis see on sellise kristlikuse järgmine kohta kohta Very, very excited about that. Please welcome Mr. Dan Christie to our school. <laughs> to our stage, I'm sorry, not to our school. He's been here for a number of years. Uh, and the third person uh, who's a little bit unfamiliar to you, but has, has certainly been at the school uh, uh, for, for a long time, uh, has been a past student since 2012, and she'll be introduced properly shortly as well, uh, is our Foundation Day guest speaker, uh, Tessa Clarkson, who graduated, in as I said, in 2012. Please give her a round of applause. <laughs> so students, what are we doing? This is, what are we doing now? What do we do today to celebrate? And, and I really hope you feel a part of that celebration. There are a number of ways you can participate. Uh, and please uh, get involved and enjoy yourselves. Uh, it, it is a fantastic day. Um, so we are celebrating a birthday. Uh, we are going to sing and pray together, which will be great. It will be fantastic. Please get involved. We're going to listen to Tessa's reflections on her time here at the school as a, as a student, and including a, as a boarding student. Uh, we're going to listen to some amazing music uh, from our, uh, our, our musicians here today. Our contemporary band and our symphonic band have been practicing furiously and they are sounding absolutely amazing. So uh, I really look forward to hearing them. We also will be hearing from our Year 7 to 12 choir, uh, who, uh, who are sounding absolutely beautiful at the moment. The other thing we're doing today, and the reason why there are so many parents here, the students will have seen parents come in, is we are going to induct our new school leaders as part of our Foundation Day service, our new Semester 2 school leaders, and, and their parents are here to see uh, their induction and also you're very welcome to take photos, uh, uh, parents of your students, of your children as they come up on stage. After our service, guys, the, our tradition will continue. We will head to the lagoon for the lagoon dash uh, and that's where our preppies will join us and that will be very exciting to see the preppies run again. And after the lagoon dash, we will of course all enjoy birthday cake. So it's going to be, yay, we've got one. <laughs> We've got one person. Junior school, are we happy about cake? Are we happy about cake? Yeah? Good. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. You don't have to eat it. Um, please give your piece to me. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the very informal uh, welcome, sorry, introduction, and I'll hand over to Aidan Hood. Where are you, Aidan? Good morning, special guests, invited parents, staff, and students of the Cathedral School community. I would like to begin the 2021 Foundation Day service by acknowledging the traditional custodians on the land on which we meet today, the Wukarukuba and Bindu people, and pay our respects to their elders past, present, and emerging. We extend that respect to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people here today. This morning, we welcome the following special guests. Dean of the St. James Cathedral, the very Reverend Dr. Kenneth Lay, School Board Chairman, Mr. Daniel Christie, immediate past school board chairman, Mr. Philip Askin, board member, Mrs. Caroline McManus, the, chapel, the cathedral school principal, Mr. Gamak, and his wife, Mrs. Diana Gamak, president of the past students association, Mr. Tom Porter, foundation day guest speaker, Tessa Clarkson, and Mrs. Tony Lanthier. Welcome to the 104th foundation day service of the cathedral school of St. Anne and St. James. I hope you all enjoy this day of celebration for our school community. The school chapel captain, Benson Emery, will now deliver the Bible reading. The Bible reading is from Luke chapter 6, verses 46 to 49. Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do not, what I, do not do what I say? I will show you what he is like who comes to me and hears my words and puts them into practice. He is like a man building a house who dug down deep and laid the foundation on rock. When a flood came, the torrent struck that house but could not shake it because it was well built. But the one who hears my words and does not put them into practice is like a man who built a house on the ground without a foundation. The moment the torrent struck that house, it collapsed and its destruction was complete. This is the word of the Lord. Uh, thank you, Benson and Aidan. I'm just going to allow them a moment to exit stage right because they now belong to the symphonic band. 
who are going to perform for us um, along with the Voce Choir. So if I can ask everybody to please stand for the school hymn to be a pilgrim. Thank you. Um, so good morning, everyone. Our Foundation Day guest speaker today is Tessa Clarkson. Tessa is a former boarding student of Cathedral School, originally from a very small mining community called Glendon in central Queensland. Tessa began boarding midway through year 10 at, at Cathedral. In 2012, Tessa was recognised for her excellent student leadership and appointed as the co-school captain. Today, Tessa lives in Brisbane, where she is studying psychology. After successfully finishing her undergraduate science degree, Tessa is now studying a PhD in Cognitive Psychology and has co-written academic publications in the Faculty of Psychology. She also tutors undergraduate students and mentors honours students at the University of Queensland. Tessa has a passion for research and behavioural science and she hopes to make a positive difference in the field of psychology. Can we please warmly welcome our special guest, Tessa Clarkson. Good morning everyone and thank you to Simon for that very kind introduction. As mentioned, my name is Tessa um, and I'm a former boarding student of Cathedral um, from the coal mining community of Glendon and can I just say it is an absolute pleasure and honour to be back here today. As a matter of interest, are there any Glendonites here today? Maybe any boarders? No? I suppose they don't let anyone in from Glendon anymore. I must have been the last one. I came in and Mr. Gamax must have said, okay, enough of that. Let's not have any more of those. No, I'm just kidding. Um, communities like Glendon, Collinsville, Morumbah, Charters Towers, and other varieties of whoop whoop um, have delivered more than their fair share of academia via the Cathedral School, as can be witnessed by the student centenary names list in front of your lagoon. Being raised in Glendon, I'm very accustomed to small town living, and I can appreciate that the boarders in particular uh, will be familiar with the fundamentals um, of country town living. That is, you know personally everyone in town, including the stray dog at the end of the street, and by the same token, they all know you. The very notion of this makes me very homesick. However, a wider world exists outside, and we should engage with it and be ready to adapt to it. This is how my cathedral journey began in 2010. It was a huge step. I had some trepidation about vacating my comfort zone to live on a school campus, but this is not a lifestyle 
that many young people ever get to experience or relate to. So I loved boarding here, and so did my brother, who boarded here a few years before me. The cathedral school was not representative of a, uh, of a venue which my brother and I were dropped at to have our academic pencils sharpened. The cathedral school was a community that fostered learning and curiosity, excitement, but most importantly, friendship and connection. There is a theory that I've learned in psychology that I'd love to tell you about. It's called the reminiscence bump. This effect shows that in adulthood, people tend to remember more events that occurred in their adolescent, adolescence and early adult years than any other period of their life. I'm sure it is also not surprising for you to know uh, that adolescent and early adult, early adult years are some of the most formative for the development of one's individual sense of identity. And importantly, schooling years frame this period of time. Uh, and for me, the boarding experience at Cathedral was truly pivotal for developing my sense of self and how I fitted in and could contribute to the wider world. Speaking of reminiscence and personal development, I'd like to touch for a very brief moment on something called character building, uh, which many of the adults here will know is just a euphemism for uh, learning the consequences to your actions. Um, one instance of character building for me occurred in year 12, when some friends and I experimented with our entrepreneurial skills uh, by starting a small business in Sister Francis. Uh, we thought it would be a really great idea to pool our resources together and start our own unofficial tuck shop um, in the boarding house. We thought it infallible due to the captive market we had over the younger girls in Cardinia, so we launched an, adver an advertising campaign. Regretfully, though, our shop failed miserably as the year eights and nines weren't to be conned into buying our overpriced soft drink and lollies. And additionally, eating half the stock and not accounting for costs also didn't help. It also became apparent that we weren't the only ones who enjoyed eating sugar in the dormitories after hours. Uh, cockroaches and ants also tend to have a liking for these things. And so it was from this day forward I knew I'd never be a business owner. Um, now that my entrepreneurial days are done, I now live in Brisbane and I'm pursuing a PhD in psychology. I really enjoy learning and I'm passionate um, about my chosen field. I also have the pleasure of being able to teach and mentor students uh, who are completing their undergraduate degrees. And I get to share my enthusiasm with these students, which is incredibly rewarding. I eagerly look forward to exploring the possibilities and direction which a career in science will lead me. An important thing I've learned is that while education does have a focal point on academia and learning, that is not all it encapsulates. Education is about learning how to learn. Cultivating an understanding and appreciation for learning and having a fascination with the mechanisms of how the world operates and changes is a truly fulfilling experience. My advice to students is not to view education as just a tool for getting into a good university or trades program and then just getting a good job. Because security and a well-planned out life isn't solely fulfilling of itself. It is important to be exposed to some unknowns that prompt you to keep learning and to keep updating yourself so that you are constantly learning and improving because this is what makes life exciting. My counsel for near school leavers, so the year 11s and 12s, is that you should constantly work towards an aim and a goal, um, remembering that the world is not static but constantly changing. And to meet those changes, you must be grounded in some adaptation life skills. For me and my brother, the cornerstone of these life skills was laid right here at the Cathedral School, and we continue to build on to them to this day. I've touched only for the briefest of moments on the role of the school and its students, and it would be remiss of me not to speak out on the long-suffering, ever-patient, ever-paying, ever-loving parents, and the enormous potential they hold um, to accelerate the youth to adult process. Because education is found in schools, but it is fostered in the home, and I confess, too, that I understand that sometimes parents can be a little bit annoying and a little bit fussy at times. I always used to call my folks the helicopter parents because they were always hovering around. In fact, they're still hovering around. They're here today. <laughs> um, however, 
When smooth gives way to the rough, helicopter parents are completely indispensable. Uh, the support given from parents, and of course the support given from your student, uh, teachers and uh, boarding staff, always will ensure that there is love in your hearts, a carefully nurtured discernment of that which is right and wrong, and some seriously functioning grey matter between your ears. And it is with this environment developed by the families and the school community, you will emerge fit for purpose. Thank you very much for listening. I would like to thank our guest speaker, Tessa Coxon, for her time today. We are incre incredibly privileged to hear from a past prefect and school captain who has become so well accomplished in her career. It is inspiring to see someone with a great passion and a hard work ethic. And it is such an honor to hear your wonderful speech today. I would just like to present a token of our appreciation and may we please have another round of applause for Tessa Clarkson. Let's pray. Almighty Father, who commanded us to love you with all our mind, look graciously upon this, your school, the Cathedral School of St. Anne and St. James. Bless all who teach and all, all who learn. Grant that they may seek and love the truth, grow in wisdom and knowledge, and in humility of heart ever look to you, the source of all wisdom and understanding. We ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Right, so as Benson exits the stage right once again, we are going to now be entertained by our symphonic band directed by Mrs. Lyndall Penaluna. So please sit back, relax and enjoy the performance of Winds of Change.
Thank you. Thank you very much to our symphonic band and, and also our choir. Uh, wasn't that amazing, ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys? Let's please give them another huge round of applause. Okay, we now move into the, to the, uh, the next part of our uh, Foundation Day service, and that is the induction of our new school leaders, uh, in junior, middle and senior, as well as our boarding house. Uh, and we're going, I'm going to ask Father Kenneth to come forward to assist uh, with that, that induction. So all of the student leaders, could I please ask you to stand in your place? This is an important responsibility. We look to you to be people of diligence, trustworthiness and integrity. We expect you to be loyal members of your school and to be people who grow in the virtues of gentleness, humility, courage and most of all love. Your role as leaders is to serve others, to nurture, guide and protect them. Your model is Jesus himself, who came not to be served, but to serve others. So I ask you two important questions. Do you resolve, with God's help, to be such a leader in this school community? Will you use the authority given to you to serve this school community faithfully and unselfishly? may God give you his help to perform all that you have promised today. Would the junior school leaders please come onto the stage? Arts leader, Amber Turner. Environmental leader, Emma Tanza. Chapel leader, Jens Mutazvik. Beadhouse leaders, Charlize Penny and Dylan Hibble. Chatham House leaders, Amali Bartulovic and Johnny Gutschel Johnson. <laughs> Langton House leaders, Hannah Pollock and William McCallum. <laughs> Moore House leaders, Meg Thompson and Marley Milbourne. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, our junior school semester two leaders for 2021, Takoki Tamau and Thomas Waldron. I admit you to the office of junior school leaders at the Cathedral School. Would the middle school leaders please come to the stage? Assistant Bede House Leaders, Adeline Campbell and Nathan Whitehead.
assistant Langton House leaders, Shani Martinez and Joshua Carmen. <laughs> assistant Morehouse leaders, Diana Cavalieri and Jack McCosker. <laughs> and the semester two, middle school leaders, Keziah DeMott and Dominic Cavallo. And I admit you to the Office of Middle School Leaders at the Cathedral Schools. Could the senior school leaders please come to the stage? Firstly, uh, Tanea Hastings is not here today, but she is to be appointed as a boarding captain. So let's please congratulate Tanea. <laughs> Georgina Mills, boarding captain. <laughs> Charlotte Anderson, school prefect. Max Benson, School Prefect. <laughs> Emma Burton, School Prefect. <laughs> Hannah Gillander, School Prefect. <laughs> Lara McManus, School Prefect. Jacob Pang, School Prefect. <laughs> Alyssa Rowe, School Prefect. <laughs> and Ebony Turner, School Prefect. And I admit you to the Office of Senior School Leaders at the Cathedral School. The other school leaders who have been up here, please stand. And we pray for the people who will be leaders. Almighty God, we are your workmanship, created for good works in Jesus Christ. Bless, we pray, these our leaders who have been called to serve your people in this school. Grant them perseverance to stay the course until the end. Unite them in their service with one aim and one mind amongst them. Strengthen them to stand for truth in the spirit of love. May they be humble, not through disowning strengths they find within themselves, but through their knowing whom those strengths are from. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Congratulations to, to all of our new school leaders and, and uh, I wish you well in your, in your task of, of leading your fellow students in your houses, uh, in your schools and in, in the boarding house. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, uh, in the, over the last two years we've begun uh, at, at Foundation Day to award uh, 
to make an award to, to someone who has, has, uh, has served our school community in, in an exemplary nature. And uh, in, the, in the first two years, uh, Mrs. Wilshire and also Mrs. Turner were, were awarded uh, Tony Lanfear Awards. Um, I'll just read out the first, just the first part of the, of the inscription on the, the plaque that we will give this year's recipient. Um, the Tony Lanfear School Service Award is awarded to a member of the Cathedral School, to the Cathedral School of St. Anne and St. James School community for exemplary service to the school over an extended period of time. The recipient is someone who has worked tirelessly to promote and improve our school and its community with generosity and good grace. They also have the characteristic of not being deterred by hardship or criticism and their focus in and around the school has been one of great insight and broad-ranging possibility. Uh, I'll announce this, this year's award uh, very shortly, but first of all I'll ask uh, Mr Christie to come forward for his first official duty and, and he will award the plaque to this year's recipient, uh, Father Tim Adkins. We've set a challenging route for Father Tim to get here this morning. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we uh, also have the good fortune of another wonderful musical item. This time it is our school song, Rain Trees, um, and that will be led by the contemporary band and voce, directed by Mr. Russell and Miss Ricker. So please relax and enjoy the presentation of the school song. that were planted by our sisters long ago we still grow and these trees are proof that seeds can travel well and hold within them ancient cultures from the past and maybe just maybe it's the reason we all know our differences grow. Hey, trees, you shout to me, you shower me with love, and you let me be me. And here beneath your branches, we have yet to know, like you, the depths we will grow. To wonder why, to question all. change to create and lead and to challenge our deepest beliefs oh, rain trees inspire me encourage and support me you challenge and you nurture you welcome and connect me and without my knowing you you ain't over me
inches we have yet to know like you the depth we will grow here at cathedral we all know beneath these rain trees as we grow here at cathedral it's our time beneath these rain trees we will shine here at cathedral we all know beneath these rain trees as we grow here at cathedral it's our time beneath these rain trees we will shine here at cathedral we all know beneath these rain trees as we grow here at cathedral it's our time beneath these rain trees we will shine We have yet to know, like you, the depths we will grow. Here at Cathedral, we all shine. Lord, lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you peace. And the blessing of God, creator, redeemer, and sanctifier be upon you and remain with you now and always. Amen. Well, ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, that, that, that is our service. Uh, those attentive ones amongst you would notice there's one element of our our Foundation Day service that hasn't been present this year, and that is uh, that we haven't opened a new building. Uh, and normally we do, uh, which is great. But next year we will certainly be opening our, our new one. The, the, it will be our school library. A new school library is to start being built probably at the start of term four this year. Uh, and But will certainly be finished uh, well in time for Foundation Day next year. We hope. Uh, but... We now move to the next to the next stage uh, of our celebrations. We're, we're all headed to the lagoon, but guys, we need to do that very, very carefully. But the people I'd like to move first are the Lagoon Dash runners. Can you please head out? Staff and students, go and get dressed. Everyone else, please stay seated. <laughs> Girls and boys, please. We haven't, uh, we haven't quite finished. ask you all to stand and we're going to, uh, the official party are going to process out and, and then Mr. Midson will let you know where to move. Thank you very much.
All right, thank you to our band and thank you so much to everybody attending this morning. Uh, we just need to remain a little patient because uh, we're very crammed in here and we're going to uh, wait, please, for our junior school students to leave from our youngest students upwards. As soon as the uh, students who, who are seated on the floor have left, um, perhaps our other special guests and parents, you might like to make your way out, following them. Everybody else, all students from years 8 to 12, remain seated please. <laughs> 